Hello everyone, it's Shannon here for Honeybee Stamps. In today's video, we are going to create this colorful card featuring the Ocean Circlescape die, which is an awesome die that came out in the recent release. Here's the die here. We're going to start by simply die cutting this out of some white cardstock. Uh, we will add all the color to this to these die cuts with ink blending. So I have my stencil mat here and several distress oxides. I'm going to start with salvage patina and just ink blend the very bottom section of the water. We're going to do an ombre look here where it's actually lighter at the bottom and gets darker towards the top. The next section I'm going to ink blend with peacock feathers, so a little bit darker ink here. Once I finish ink blending that, we are going to do a combo of inks for the uh, remaining, well, the next two sections. First, so this section here, we're going to start with Mermaid Lagoon. And I'm just going to ink blend this um, with like a medium pressure. And then I'm going to move on to back to Peacock Feathers, which will give it a kind of more of a pool look. So we'll definitely be building on that ombre look that we're trying to achieve with the water. So now that I finished that section, I'm going to ink blend this next section again with Mermaid Lagoon. And once I finish ink blending pretty heavy handedly with Mermaid Lagoon, I'm going to ink blend with a little bit of Blueprint Sketch, just a tiny bit over that Mermaid Lagoon, just to kind of change the tone a little bit. Just this will help so when we transition up to Blueprint Sketch, it seems smooth, like a smooth transition, a smooth gradation. Now for this final section, we're just going to simply ink blend it with Blueprint Sketch, nice and heavy handed, so it's very dark blue. And once we finish that, we will have all of our water done. So now we're going to move on to the sky. Now the sky has these sections in it um, that are the, the, the die creates. And I'm just going to place some tape along the sections to kind of mask off the sections so I can ink blend them in different colors. I'm using a low-tech tape tape. In fact, the color or the tape I'm using is micropore tape. And I just taped off that first area and ink blended abandoned coral. Then I cleaned my tape. I used a chamois, but later I use a towel, which is I find a little bit better because it, it has no dampness. And now I have my second piece of tape to tape off where I just ink blended and then the top of the next section. And now I will ink blend this one in spiced marmalade. So I have four warm colors picked out for this sky. And I just think this will make a really pretty um, like sunsetty look to these rays. So now I'm taping, I'm going back to that first section because I realized I missed a little bit. It's very helpful when you are masking off these sections or are or, or masking to keep a section open that you uh, make sure that you're overlapping your areas a little bit that will really ensure that you have no white gaps so this yellow section here which is a mustard seed I just made sure I overlapped a little bit of that previously ink blended section which was the spice marmalade the orange section that just makes sure again that you if you allow your inks to overlap a little bit you won't have any white spaces. Now for this uh, fourth section, we're on our final color, which is Kitsch Flamingo. Just quickly ink blended that. And now we're going to repeat these four inks. I'm not gonna do them in the same order because I want it to see, I want it to be kind of random. So I masked off again. Now I'm starting with uh, Spice Marmalade. I'll then remove the tape, clean it. I like to clean it in between my colors because there's a lot of residual ink on the tape and my blending tool will pick that up and taint my color. Like that would make that yellow an orangey color if I didn't clean the tape. Now I start this section here with Kitsch Flamingo and then I realized I actually wanted to do Abandoned Coral so I ink blended right over it with Abandoned Coral. And then I have this final section that I'll just tape off and I will ink this or blend this with that Kitsch Flamingo. So we used every one of the colors twice and that is our pretty sunset. Now I'm gonna move on to the sun. I'm gonna start by ink blending it with mustard seed and then I'll finish by ink blending it with a little bit of spiced marmalade at the bottom to create a little gradation. This is the only set bit of, or part of the die cut that actually ink blend a little gradation. Everything else I kept flat. All my sections I just ink blended flat with color. Here I have the 
Circlescapes Shaker Frames. I grabbed the largest frames from this die set and die cut it out of white cardstock. I'm going to use this inner frame here, or this inner circle, to adhere all of my die cuts from my Ocean Circlescape to. I'm going to start with this guy, just added some liquid adhesive to the back side and adhered it down. Now I'm going to move on to my water sections. I actually found that this kind of comes together better if I do the sun last. So I'm just um, adhering each one of these water sections down and matching them up just like a puzzle. And it comes together so beautifully. I love this ombre look to the water. It turned out so pretty. So I'm gonna finish up here with these last two sections. The um, smallest one I actually get wrong here. I add, I kind of start to p stick it down wrong and then I realized I got it wrong so I flipped it around and then it all fit together beautifully. Now I'm gonna finish with the sun, just add some glue to my base piece and then pop that sun in there and it fits lovely. So now that we have that done, we're gonna move on to our sentiment. I have the foil script wishes set here and I've grabbed two sentiments from the set. I only use one, but I thought since I'm gonna cut some foil out, I might as well do two at the same time. I placed them on my glimmer machine, set the timer, and now the timer's done, so they're ready to go. I detached my platform. I like to do that first before I make my sandwich. Now I'm gonna start with my sandwich with my foil, shiny side down, then my paper, and then I'm gonna move on to the thin shim and then finish with the spacer pad. And that will complete my sandwich shawl. I'll now run it through my die cutting machine. And here you'll see my beautifully foiled sentiments. I'm now gonna go ahead and die cut those out with the coordinating die that's included in the set. And now we're gonna go do some dry embossing with the Layered Waves stencil set. I have the top stencil and I'm gonna make my embossing sandwich, my dry embossing sandwich here, starting with the rubber mat, then my paper, then the stencil and then finish with the embossing plate. I ran that through my die cutting machine and here you'll see that the stencil dry embossed basically left this texture on the paper and it just has a really cool subtle look to our card. Now I'm going to simply adhere this textured panel to the front of an A2 top folding white card base. Once I have that stuck down, I'll then adhere my ocean circle escape uh, to the front and center of my card. Once I get that placed down, I'll then add some liquid adhesive to the back side of this frame. You remember we used the inside piece to adhere our die cut pieces to but we saved the frame and now we're going to use it to just add a detail around our ocean circle scape then we'll finish up with my foiled sentiment i did actually remove the hour out of this it's uh supposed to say sending our love but i thought sending love was fine just kept it simple and i adhered it onto the card front with some foam adhesive and here's the finished card i love how this turned out so bright and cheery i love the bold colors with the ink blending and that subtle texture with the dry embossing and even that little bit of shine that we have with our beautiful foiled sentiment i hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video if you have any questions about the products I used, please check out the links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.